Hi, and welcome to Qigong Live Live today. This is the beginner's class. So we're going to do a little bit on balance today, we're going to, but we're going to do more about one leg. We're going to do a couple of exercises on one leg. We've done this before. We're going to go back and reiterate some points about this, about how important it is. And that's why in most Qigong systems, there's an exercise somewhere in their system where you stand on one leg and then you stand on the other one. And there's lots of different reasons for that. So in a basic understanding, of course, it's going to increase your balance. So the more you can stand on one leg, you have to balance on one leg. So you're going to get better standing on one leg. So then you're learning how to balance on one leg. So that when you put two down, now you're going to be twice as good, but you need to balance on the other leg too, because there's no point in learning how to do it on one and not both. So most exercises have an exercise where you balance on one and balance on the other. So that increases the balance on one leg by itself, and then a double as strong in this way. If you only ever do two feet, when you take one off, then it's your foot, you're wobbling over the place. Well, the, the point of having the two feet on the ground or one foot on the ground is it just increases. And that's why uh, Tai Chi and things for the elderly are really good because it helps increase their balance. But we want to talk a little bit more about the center of balance, the, the piece in there. We're going to add another piece to this. It's about understanding how to get your balance even stronger. So if we stand up straight on our legs, we stand on one leg, I'll stand on one leg, I stand straight on one leg. I've got my heel on the ground, I've got the ball on the ground, and I've got a straight leg. And you can feel yourself moving around inside your leg, trying to get balance for that. And you're standing quite top heavy, so that the tree's got a big piece at the top and a little root at the bottom. But if you bend the leg, if you bend the knee at the back and stand on the front part of your foot, the heel's still touching the ground, but you're standing on the front part of your foot, you're standing on all your, all your toes are all spread out and you're standing on your toes. There's a lot more power, and if he, by bending your knee, it does that. So now when you stand like that, you feel a lot more stronger. And so the balance, you'll still feel, you could feel yourself chasing your balance inside your foot, moving from one side, you can feel the ligaments, tendons, leading go stretching because if you're not done that. And so what happens is, of course, the more you do one-legged exercises, the better the balance. But what it does is it increases this idea, this concept of center. So our center is our center of balance, this, this is a description. So our center of balance, if I'm standing in the middle, is right smack in the middle. Yep, and I'll... And I can move that, and whenever I go, I'm moving my center of balance. But when I stand on one leg, of course, the center of balance comes from the top of my head all the way through my body, right out through one foot. So it's changed, it's moved over in alignment with the one leg, where this way it's lined between the two of them, comes out between the middle one, it's like a, a stick in the ground between the two legs. But now it's not, it's actually balancing through the leg itself. So different things happening. We call it the center column. There's two different ways you can do this. I'll talk a couple about them. Some of them is to have your navel over your yong trun, your kidney point, so you can have this point and that point aligned. And we'll add another piece. We'll have the center column, which will bark way all the way through the center, through your physical center, through your toes. So we have this idea of this energetic column that goes through the body. And we bend the knees slightly, and what it does is bring all the energy and the weight down on it. So it's going to give you a lot more precision with your balance here, yeah? so you can stand in one leg and you don't move at all. Yeah? The leg moves and you don't move. So we'll do some exercises that, that use this principle and understand we'll talk about the center column, the idea of sitting down and, and letting your weight sink on it. What's a nice easy one to do? Some of the exercises for one leg are not easy. We'll do a variation to a shoe by shoe exercise. It's called bouncing the ball in the sunshine. And we're going to bring one foot up. We'll go to the right side first. Go to your right foot. So stand on your right foot. Bring your left leg up. And you bring your left leg up with it. With the, the, the foot's like you're kicking the soccer ball that way. Yep. The opposite hand goes towards the knee, and the other hand comes straight towards the front. Yeah. There's lots of variations. This is the one we're going to do. And we're going to bring the hands around like a big circle. I'm going to swap it over. And now we're going to stand on the left foot. The bottom palm faces towards the knee. The other hand's palms facing towards the ground. Yep, keep your back nice and straight. Circle across. And then bring the leg up. Hold the balance. That way. Good. I'm going to show you different pieces. We'll just get used to what the exercise looks like. I'll give you a couple of different pieces to this. One side. And of course, this is a crossover exercise too, so it's good for your right and left hemispheres of your brain as well. Get the pathways talking to each other inside your mind inside your brain matter, other side, good, make sure you go from one side to the other, you hold the balance when you get to the side, 
So just do one fast like this and then keep moving like that if you do that. Because what the body does is it can compensate for bad posture. So if you do that fast, you might be out of balance when you get here. But if you hold the bot, so you're actually in balance. Therefore, you move. That's it. You know. Cool. Now we're going to add the next piece to this one now. Go across. And this time we're going to do is we're going to put the weight down into your foot. Yeah? So as it comes across, the back leg that you're standing on, the back leg, you're going to bend it down slightly further than normal. So instead of standing on a straight leg, we're going to be slightly bent. And as soon as you do, we can actually do it so you can feel the difference. So stand on one leg like that. We'll just do that without the hands. Stand up straight on the back leg. Now you can feel it wobbling around. But as soon as you bring the weight down into the front part of the foot, see how much stronger it gets. Yeah? Go to the other side, do the same thing on the other side. Have a straight leg. Have this leg straight. Stand up straight and you can feel the you can feel it moving around on your toes, going from the little toe to the big toe and changing weight. Yep, unless you do a lot of one legged standing, you probably won't be doing that. Yep, but as soon as you bend your knee, the back knee, the one leg I'm standing, bend that knee slightly and stand on the front part of your foot on all of all your toes, see how much more stronger it gets. Cool. Okay, the other side. Across, keep the leg bent. Across. Yeah. So much stronger, so much stronger bend down. And if you go lower than that, we sit down in the posture, and you go lower again, and you can see even stronger, because all of a sudden all the energy is going down into the ground like a tree, and you're putting out these big roots into the ground, and the top here is light, and now it's all the weights down here. So when that happens, of course, it's a lot more power, but there's a lot more strength in it. That's why you see the Tai Chi and Qigong do with deep stances. Deep stance as in with the legs bent. Yep, there you go. Cool. Get into the posture. Sit down on it. Sit down on your kid. Very good. And engages all your muscles. When you engage the muscles, of course, you engage all the energy in your body as well. As soon as you gain the energy, the muscles in your legs, all the energy starts coming up through the ground. Cool. Perfect. So that's a good exercise to do that. There's another part to that, but we just use that. That is an understanding of the transferring weight and then sitting down on the one leg. Not just stand on it, just move across from one to the, go across, sit down on it. Go across, sit down on it. As soon as you sit down, front part of the foot, more grip, more power, more stability. Yep. So we'll go to, that was from um, the Sherba Shia Tai Chi Qigong system. We're going to go to the long life Qigong system will go to the exercise that's called um, Cranes Flies South for, this, for the winter. And the exercise, it looks, it's, it's like, um, what is the, I'm trying to think of his name, Karate Kid. This is the posture, because it's a martial thing as well. So <coughs> as we go up, we're going to move to the, we're going to move to the right. As you move to the right, the hands come up and you bring up the left leg like that. <laughs> well, this looks like the karate kit. And then the foot goes down, the hands go down. Then both the hands come up to the side. And then it comes down again. And we change weight to the other way. So now we're going to go to the left side. Bring the weight up on the left side. Comes up, the foot comes up. And then goes down. So you see what's happening with the, the weight. Now we're double weighted. So, have, so we haven't experienced what it's like double weighted to do this. And then we have an example to do it single legged like that. Sit down on the leg. Sit down further, 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 further. Sit down. That's it. Feel the weight down, then come down. Good. Up. And down. So remember the more down you get, the more solid it is. Comes up. And sit down on it. Sit down on the back knee. Bend your back knee. Sit on the kidney board. That's it. And then come down. So if you want to see the difference of that, as we'll do it with a straight leg. Straight back leg. Just keep your leg straight on the heel. Yep. See how different that feels? Now some of you might feel that it's stronger. Yeah, go to the other side. We'll do the rest of the exercise first. Other side, straight leg. Keep the left leg straight. 
I have to think about that and lock the leg and then come back. And you'll feel the body, you'll feel it moving around, trying to get balance. And when you've got your heel on the ground, you're standing on a straight leg. So do the same thing this time and bend the leg and feel the difference. Have the leg bent. And then comes down to the side. Good. That's better, eh? Totally different feel. You come back slightly. Look to the side. Sit down on the leg. This is the crouching tiger thing. You've seen this. <laughs> I always love that. Put the crouching tiger, the um, karate kid. <coughs> when he's standing, he's standing on that post. And he does the kick. He does the snap kick. This is this posture. This is where, he, where they got it from. And it's a very old posture. It's a very old Qigong exercise. But that's where that came from. Because it's a martial thing. Very good. Well, actually not. It's not true. That's not a martial posture. <laughs> it's a Qigong posture. Because <laughs> you don't see, to see people fighting like that, except for you see in the karate kid. People don't stand there fight. You don't see MMA people. <laughs> people in the UFC or the MMA standing like this be when they're going to fight somebody. Uh, they'll, 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 do the, they'll do the kick, but you won't see them standing with their hands at the side. It's, a, it's an understanding the principle of what's happening inside the body and the energy that's coming up the leg and they're going down and they're coming back up from the, the weight going down and comes back up inside the kick and that snap kick comes from that. Anyway, so it's more of a qigong because it's what's happening inside the arms, the energy in the arms and the energy going down the legs and it's coming up and going out the arms. But it's, it's probably not a, what you classify as a classic martial posture. It was ad adaptation for that movie. Look good though. It's a great movie. Wax on, wax off. So what it does of that, that movie, just as a side note, because it's come up, what the side note of that movie is, is talks about the practice. The wax on, wax off. The, the key to the whole of that is about practice. Yeah, It's about how much practice you do. Whatever you do in life, the more you practice, the better you get at it. It's really that simple. It's not a, a hard thing to understand. And the wax on, wax off was the epitome of doing something relatively boring, but learning something. And so it's like the more you do this exercise, the body's learning something. And you just get better and better at standing on one leg and you get better and better at changing weight. Very good. Great exercise. You can always go back and watch this video again on YouTube if you want to do it again. But you want to practice one-legged exercise all the time. I'll quite often stand in a posture with one leg, or I'll stand some time with one leg during the day just to keep the leg strong here. Cool, we'll do it one more each side. Comes up, comes down, comes up, comes down, change weight, comes onto the foot, and down. There you go. Perfect. Great exercise. Good. So it's a simple thing, especially for, for elderly people to do to do one legged exercise is really important because as we get older our, our centre of balance moves. Sometimes we get a little bit um, we lose our balance, unless you've been training Tai Chi for a long time, then you, of course you just maintain the balance the whole way through it. And you'll end up like a 90 year old in the park who's sitting there, standing in the standing with a position, standing in a position like this for, for two hours. <laughs> because you, you've never lost the ability to balance, your balance is perfect and you just stand there in the park, because you can. <laughs> it's like everything, if you practice a long time, you don't lose it, and you're saying you're going to lose it if you stop. But sometimes we're just starting these exercises, we're just starting to learn these principles, so they're just going to be a bit wobbly to start off with anyway. But do practice. Quite often you just see me I'll stand, I'll just stand like that. So it makes myself do this, it makes myself do it. And one leg, well, the other thing too, one leg could be better than the other. One leg might be have more balance, more strength on one side, and you do it the other side, it's not as strong, yeah? It's a part of that is to balance up both legs, so they're both equally, as, equally strong. Both the calves and the muscles and the legs and the alignment's strong, both sides. And so you might find one's more balanced than the other, which is not uncommon. Anyway, there you go. 
So if I see a whole lot of people standing around like this, I know they're watching my, <laughs> watching my class, <laughs> practicing. It's very good. Okay. Have a beautiful day. Anyway. If you have any questions about that, please ask. And for the people who are watching this afterwards, you didn't watch it live, hopefully that's useful. And, and for yourself, please ask any if you have any questions as well. Have a beautiful week, and we'll see you next week. Go and stand in the park. Go and stand with the ducks. I don't want to stop it just there, so because I want to mention something. So talking about ducks, this is a complete. If you ever see a duck stand, stand on one leg. <clears throat> if you watch, not, not all of them, but a lot of the ducks, they stand on one leg, and here's their body like this, and the one leg sticking out the side. Now, in theory, because the weight's there and the leg's there, they should just fall over, and they don't. And you could say because they've got a big web foot, so they're standing on one way foot. You see some ducks, their foot goes across into the center. And then there's a body here and they're sitting under, which is logical, so the balance is like that to the body. But you watch, and even down there you'll see a duck and it's standing the legs here, even though it's web foot and the body's here, but it's not tipping over. Because I've worked out how to project the energy down the leg without having to move the body weight over. Very, very precise thing. And as I say, next time you're in the park looking at ducks, have a look. You'll see what I mean. I train with ducks. For a few years in a park, I trained every morning and the, the, there was lots of ducks and I used to watch the ducks. Oh, say hello to Ollie, say so hello to Helen Helen today. Welcome to class, thanks for coming to class. So anyway, the duck things is, is, is intriguing. And I watched the different, and they go, look at that. And the duck's standing there on one leg. And in theory, when we're standing, you, you have to move the weight over to stand on one leg. But he was picking the leg up and it was standing on one leg and his body was over here. And I go, well, how on earth are you doing that? And then I understood the principle because it's the principle of the energy. I've seen a Tai Chi master do that one day. Can you go to the far off shot? I saw a Tai Chi master doing a part of the Chen form, which <clears throat> I just got to think of which piece it is. Yeah, it does that. It goes like that. And then it comes down like that. And so he did that. And so when I do that, so, I, so you see me, I shift weight across. I shift weight across, pick up the leg. Now I'm standing on one leg, and then I put the leg down and go back. But he didn't do that. He stood there. He picked up one leg without moving across. I saw him do it. He picked it up, and, he, and I said, how's he standing? And then he put it down again. So it's like if I'd have to hold on to a wall to do that, picks it up, puts it down without changing weight. <laughs> it was remarkable. And I go, look at that. And it was the same thing as the duck. He'd learned how to project energy down the leg. So when he stood up on the one leg... He didn't have to change weight and to put it down. There was no movement. There was no body body shift. So it's all about the same principle we're doing. He just mastered it. I haven't quite got to that stage yet, but it was very, very, very cool to watch that happen because it's beyond it's beyond physics. It's beyond gravity. Something else happening, and it's just because he can project energy down the leg and he can lock the leg. And yeah, it's very, very cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Have a beautiful day, everybody, and we'll see you next week. And yep. Yeah, Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy standing on one leg for a week. <laughs> or both legs. You've got to balance yourself out. Don't just don't do one. Bye-bye.